Hello, in this lesson we are going to learn how to create frequency tables with the package plier, the function count. The data frame I'm going to use for the example is demo that contains information about a sample of car owners and I'm going to build a frequency table for the variable education level which is a categorical variable with five categories. So, I will build a table that will contain the following. The absolute frequencies, or the counts, the cumulative counts, the relative frequencies, and the cumulative relative frequencies, or the cumulative percentages. First of all, I have to load the package, plier, and then build the initial table, I will call it my table, which will contain the absolute frequencies, the counts only. And for this I will use the function count. In this function I have to specify the data frame name, demo, and the variable of interest, in our case education level, educ, in apostrophes, in quotes, like this. Let's run this and let's print our first table. So, as you can see here, for each category of the variable education level, we have the frequencies, uh, the counts in this column frac. So, for example, there are 113 uh, members, subjects in this first category, college degree. Now, let's compute the percentages or the apps or the, the relative frequencies, sorry. How to do that? We will simply take the values in the column frac frequencies in the table my table, that's the column frequencies, and we divide each value by the number of rows of the data frame demo. In, in other words, we will divide it by the number of cases in the variable, in, in the data frame demo, sorry. So let's create the new vector with the percentages. And now let's see this vector, perk. Here we have the relative frequencies, uh, the percentages for each uh, category of the variable education level. Next, let's compute the cumulative counts using the COMSOM function. You probably know it from the previous uh, lecture. The COMSOM function is in the base R. So we will simply apply this function, COMSOM, to the same column, frac, the counts of the variable my table. Let's run this and let's print the cumulative uh, counts. Here they are. You can see them here in the console. Finally, let's compute the cumulative percentages. Uh, for this, we are going to apply a trick. You, maybe you know it from the previous uh, lecture. Uh, we simply divide the cumulative counts, all the values in this vector, the cumulative counts, by the number of rows of the variable of the data frame, sorry, demo, computed with the function n row. Let's do that, and let's see the cumulative percentages. Here they are in this vector. And now all we have to do is add the cumulative counts and the percentages, uh, and the cumulative percentages, of course, to the initial table. How? Using the function C bind. So, to the initial table, my table, we add the cumulative counts, the percentages, and the cumulative percentages. And the new table will be called, of course, my table. Let's do it, and now let's print our final table. That's it. So here, for each category of the variable education, you have the counts, the cumulative counts, the percentages, and the cumulative percentages. That's it. Thank you.